Welcome back to another Tuesday tabletop game night. Uh, virus, coronavirus, quarantine style. Tonight we're going to bring you Villagers, a game that's played for two to five players. Tonight we've got it set up for the two player variation. So there are going to be some differences if you'd like to play um, up to the, the three, four, five player game. In Villagers, we have each founded our own village. So we have founders cards here in our village square here. I get to be first player, that's determined by the player that's lived in the same place the longest, uh, which is me tonight. Our founders are going to choose some of these travelers that are on the road to come and join our village. Um, so down here is the road, and up here is where we're going to resupply the road from. And on the very top there are the basic um, professions of the people that we're going to need to perform different, uh, different tasks in our village. And each of our basic villagers can then evolve or support higher classes of villagers. You see that the lumberjack and the carpenter are both wood, and the hay, um, the hayer and the thatcher both use the hay. Um, and we've got over here a blacksmith and a miner that both use the ore. You're going to build the more advanced villagers off the less advanced villagers. Um, there's going to be two scoring rounds, uh, market phases after this pile is depleted, and the second market phase after this pile is depleted. Additionally, in the game, you're going to have some cards which have locks on them. They're going to need other professions to unlock them. Uh, if that other profession exists in either village, you have to pay that villager to do the job. If that villager doesn't exist anywhere, you can pay the bank money to unlock that card so it can still get placed in your village. Um, at the end of each draft phase, there will be a build phase in which we can place villagers that we've picked off the road to come and join our village. The amount of villagers that we're allowed to draft, take off the road, is two plus the number of food that exists in our village, up to a total of five. Likewise, the amount of villagers you can place in your village each round is two plus the number of builders that exist in your village at the beginning of the round. Uh, I believe that covers the basic rules, so without further ado, we're going to go ahead and begin. Um, oh, we're going to place the villagers that we take off the road on our village square to make sure that we don't go over the limit that we're supposed to have. One more thing, we're each supposed to have a hand of five cards to start. Mm -hmm. So there are our starting hands. Okay. okay. Um, I don't think that's going to change my, my choice at all going into this. Um, I am going to choose to take the Poulterer. So I take the Poulterer and I place the Poulterer in my village square. And then I flip over the next card, which is the glass blower, to replace it. And now the glass blower exists on the road and can be taken into someone's village square. Alright, so I'm going to take... Hmm. I think I will take the carpenter. Okay. Oh, and then we here. flip over the card. Here. Okay. Mm. Um, let's see then. I will take then I think I will take the thatcher. Mm. Okay. Alright, and I th think Oh, I need to flip over the piece. Oh, good. Oh, I'll take that one. Going to take the ship right? Sure. Okay, I'm going to flip this over. Now, at the end of each draft phase, and we've each drafted the two cards that we're allowed, in the two-player game, we're each going to get a coin, um, and we're going to reserve one of these villagers that's on the road that we might mm -hmm. like to take for the next round, and then we'll replace all the rest of them. Uh, since I'm first player, you are going to reserve the villager on the road that you might like to take first. So I think I will do... These don't require anything. Oh, but I already have a carpenter. Mm-hmm. Huh. I think I'll take the blacksmith. Maybe you're going to take the blacksmith. Ooh, maybe. Okay. I'm going to take the harvester. You're going to take the harvester? Yeah. Okay, then let's see. I think I will take the blacksmith. Okay. Okay. 
And then, then what we're going to do is we're going to discard these cards and then refresh the road. And builder of Thatcher, Grazier. Okay. Okay. And then we take the villages from our village square into our hand. Okay. And, and then, then we can build two. We right? can build two. Um, I'm going to build, let's see, one and two. And then to do this, and there's the two I'm going to build, I'm going to need to get a hair for my thatcher. So to accomplish that, I'm going to have to put back one card from my hand on any one of these piles, and then I'll get the hair, and I can place the hair in my village. It doesn't count as a build move. So I'm going to put this card down there, take a hair, put the thatcher on the hair, and the brewer on the founder. Now, I have to pay the cooper to unlock the brewer. Since no one has a cooper, I pay two gold to the bank. And then my turn's over. Okay. And I'm going to play the Graper. Okay. And then I'm going to play... Okay, I still... It still is a play to get one of these or not. Well, you discard the card. I'm going to discard a card. Then you take the Lumberjack, right. if that's what you wanted. Is that okay. my build? Nope. Nope. Okay. nope. So then Those I can build. Those don't count towards your build. So then I can build the Carpenter. Yes. Okay. Okay. And then the first player token will move. Okay. Okay. Does the carpenter you didn't need any unlocks? There? No, okay, so it didn't. So. Okay. okay. So now in the next round, I get my. I've got one food, so I can draft three three cards, and I've got two builders, so I can build up to four times. Now you have to draft up to the number of villages you're allowed. You do not have to use the number of builds you're allowed. Okay, and so, so you're I'm going to go ahead and draft. So I can do three, right? Well, you draft one at a time. Right. But yeah, I can yes. do three. You're up right? to three. So yep. I do a grazier. Okay. And there's a poulter. Um, don't really care. Um, I've already got a thatcher. I can buy. I'm going to take, um, you know, it seems silly, but I'm going to take this harvester that you set aside. Oh. Yeah. Alrighty. And there's a wheeler, which you need just a lumberjack, but it will unlock your cart right. If you didn't, you take a cart right earlier. I thought you did. Um. Sounders, but you have to have a. Oh, but I have a carpenter. Oh, I might take the poulter. Okay. I'm going to take the swine herd. Take the top one. And I can take one more, right? And and now that this has been depleted, we are going to have a market round after this phase. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take... I think I'll take the thatcher. Okay. okay. I'm going to replace this. And I am going to take the truffler. Okay. And I'm going to replace that. Okay. Then, we're each going to reserve a card. Now, I get to go first um, because I played second. I'm actually going to reserve the blacksmith again. <laughs> okay. Um, I guess the shipwreck. Right. And then we will release and replace them. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then uh, you're, we're going to take cards from the village square. Yep. And then you're going to build first. Okay, so I'm going to build. So now I can build three, right? Because I got one housey thing. Uh -huh. That's the official name for it. Is that the official name for it? Yes. So I'm going to do Polterer. Okay, so I want the Polterer. And the, okay, and then I need get rid of something to get a hair. I guess I'll just do this one. Okay, so I need a hair. Okay. And then I'm gonna do a 
brazier. Okay. And a thatcher. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to make four plays. Okay. Um, these are those four right there. So I'm going to place my swine herd on my founders. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to build the truffler on the swine herd. And it, you can't see them on the video, but there's a chain uh, printed on the cards to tell you which ones are going to go and where they belong in the chain. Um, now this one needs unlocked. Does, do you have a hunter in play? No. I, I do not either, so I pay the bank two more gold. Okay. Then I'm going to play the... Hmm. Uh, the Fisher and the Harvester, um, which don't go on any cards. That's the solitary card. Um, so those are there. And then uh, that's my place for the turn. Okay. okay. So now we're into market phase. So in market phase, we're going to collect gold for any gold that's present on our cards. Now you saw that I paid the bank. If the cards that were in play that I would have needed to pay, I would have paid them to those cards and gold would have been collected for those. Um, but we're going to collect the gold that's printed on the card, always the topmost card. So for me, in this case, it's 8, 10, 13. Oh, so I'll collect my five. 13 gold. And you have five over there? Yeah, three and two. Okay. Um, and that's, that's the end of the market phase. It says discard this card after the market phase, but we'll just leave it there. And then I get okay. to be first player. Yep. And... Going into the drafting section, I get two, three, four, five, six food available to me. I only get to take up to five cards. And I will have the same four build spots. So this time I'm going to accumulate a card. So I'm going to start by taking this blacksmith that I've been kind of holding on over here. So I get that gold. And then you look at the silver bonus scoring. So this says I, I get gold equal to the gold printed on my wood villagers. Well, that's only going to be six here. So I'll collect six more for that one. Okay. And this one says collect one gold for every wood uh, symbol in my village. Uh, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. So I collect seven more. Okay. okay. So I get the Freemason, which is three gold for every thing, so I have nine. Okay. I'll do that. I'll give that one back. And then I have three for every food, and I have two. So six. Okay. okay, and then you add up the gold you have, and whoever has the most gold is the winner of the game and has the best village. 10, so I have 50, 40, 65, 10, 75, 60, 80. 80. I have 84. 5, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 6, 72. Okay, so 84 uh, and 72 across the table here. So my village is the best village. If you're looking for somewhere, I'm still taking new villagers. It takes a village <laughs> after all. So please come and join my village. Ooh. We play lots of games in my village. Um, anyway, there is the game Villagers, a, a quick and easy um, build game. I hope to see all of you soon where we can get together and perhaps play Villagers. Until next time, Keep gaming and please keep safe.